Biden is facing child porn charges. Investigators say they uncovered hundreds of explicit items on his phone. Shane McKenzie Johnson of Greer was pulled from his classroom at Blue Ridge High School today and was arrested. He's 17 years old, charged as an adult. The sheriff's office says that they began investigating him in May after getting a cyber tip from a national database. Now, tonight, 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell is at the Johnson bond hearing, which just wrapped up a little while ago. So what did the judge decide, Ann? Amy, the judge granted Johnson a $24,000 cash or surety bond, but she did bond out of. He is facing 10 charges related to possessing or disseminating child pornography. At this bond hearing tonight, his mother told the judge that he has never been in trouble in his entire life. She says he's an honor student. However, a rep from the sheriff's office says that the material found on Johnson's phone is disturbing and very graphic. Shane McKenzie Johnson is accused of uploading photos of boys between the ages of 2 and 12 on a social networking site. Investigators say the same photos were found on his phone. I conducted and executed a search warrant and uh, that's where all of the uh, very graphic material was found. They did not release the name of the social networking site. A representative from the sheriff's office says that's because the site is used for child porn. According to a warrant, investigators also found hundreds of videos on Johnson's phone depicting sexual exploitation of children. A very alarming to, to, to know and gather that that's going on in our community, here where we live, uh, very graphic in nature. Uh, it's Honestly, it's just unbelievable. Sergeant Flood says there is no indication that Johnson was involved in making the child porn. From the images that we have seen uh, thus far, nothing has indicated that he produced these himself. Uh, he just uploaded them and then shared them. Each of the charges Johnson is facing has a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison. The sheriff's office says the investigation is ongoing. Reporting live in Greenville and Maxwell, 7 News.